Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary and alongside me is Stuart Robson and this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's New Zealand up against Inter. Well, thanks Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. A look at the New Zealand starting 11. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And a look at the Inter team. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Stefan de Vrij plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Akan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And so the battle commences. Running with the ball confidently. No possibilities inside the box. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Perisic. And a body in the way. and dispossessed can he put it in and a goal not bad for starters they take an early lead well let's see this again he tries to run out with the ball he has the ball taken off of him he's made the wrong decision and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net terrible defending Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And a throw in forthcoming. Now, what can they do from here? Laid into the box. It comes to absolutely nothing. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? And Inter have it once again. Barella Martinez Chalanolu Superbly read and executed An awful lot of green space to run into And possibilities here, and the danger still on. It looks promising. 
Teammates in the middle. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Varela. Now Dzeko. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, that's a pass of high quality. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. So, 2-0 now. Giving it away. And now Perisic. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. Martinez. On to Dzeko. Now Dzeko. Still could be dangerous. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, we're almost at the halfway stage and they're not making home advantage work for them one little bit here. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they've been poor in the first half. They're oh, they could be in here, Stuart. What a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper and he'll be disappointed. Ivan Perisic. Matteo Damian. Oh, fancy footwork. Ah, oh, well, fair enough. That's a good recovery. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Wonderfully weighted pass. And a textbook interception. Dzeko. Could be a chance to break here. Chalanolu. Well, he's lost the ball. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And we're focusing on him for a reason, Stuart. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And, of course, he scored a very good goal. And so the battle commences. Can he put it in? And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Oh, 
Well, they keep passing away. Lost into the penalty area. Well, not cleared away completely. And problem solved for now. Ivan Perisic. The ball with Martinez. He's given us away. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. How about the cross? Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. Chalanolu. Martinez. And they have possession again. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity. And momentum is with them. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. So half an hour remaining. And Inter might be able to cash in here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And plenty of room in the wide area. And an effective clearance. He continues his run. Played into the box. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Well, as you can see, Inter had much less of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Can he put it away? Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Jekko. The ball with Martinez. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. And they're making a change. Red to put an end to that attack. Jekko. Barella. And he's made headway. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Now the action continues. And no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. intervention
Barella. The ball with Martinez. Ivan Perisic. Arturo Vidal. Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Five minutes left. Barella. Oh, he looks threatening. Good bit of pressing. It might be on for them. Perisic! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. from Marcelo Brozovic well a nearly moment you've got to say and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time well, running room in the wide position but nothing comes of it. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. What a really superb driven performance by Edin Dzeko here, Stuart. Well, I have to say that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.